As you look around, we don't have nothing here. We don't have nothing, so football is the way out. I know, well I don't think, I know that my teammates, they use that as good motivation. Our economy, we're about 40% uh, unemployed. Football is important for Hoagie because it's the only only ticket out of here. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing else going for themselves. It, it's the only ticket out. First play of the game, man. We got to set the tone. First play, man. Swarm like a swarm of bees. Everybody get to the damn ball, kid, and give them, you know what I mean, till we make them know otherwise. They're going to continue to be riding high. They think it's a cakewalk. It's our job to take that confidence away. I want everybody swarming to the ball. Let's go hunting. We got on three. We got on three. One, two, three. We got on The uh, sugar mill closed, actually. We're a very small community as it is. We're probably 4,000 people. When they closed down a, a place with probably 1,000 workers, it's, it's really tough. The, the living conditions and, and the poverty and so many things that we want better for our family. The seven million Norman, Ed Pooh Griffin, one of the hoagies, great line biker. He was just a maniac coming around the edge. He got killed in 2008. He was at a, a, a bag lay at the homecoming. And he had his jersey and he had a, like a necklace and some boys wanting to rob him for it. He shot, open fire, and he got hit. He wasn't able to go to college and make his mama proud. You know, I'd like to think that they can get out, that our kids can get out regardless of, you know, football. But um, this is the one that's gotten the most into college. I, it's motivation. As you can see, we only got us around here. It's, it's nothing like really that we have around here but us. Everybody have to stick together and try to work things out. The history of the, of the Glades and of, of Pahokee football is is right in our face when we go home it's you know when we talk to our friends in the neighborhoods it's you know everybody here knows the history you know every kid grows up wanting to play football for the poker blue devils the granddaddy played and my cousin and my other cousin it's just a, a traditional thing everyone wants to be a star everybody wants to be a blue devil i was the first coach to be fortunate enough to win the state championship, first state championship here in 89. And my son is Coach Blaze Thompson. There are more state championships in the muck, in the glades, than anywhere. I keep these things right over my heart and list all the kids that have played for the state championships. <laughs> We've always considered ourselves giant killers. We're a small school, we've got 300 to 500 kids. We play schools with three and 4,000 students in them. <laughs> For the last couple of years, you know, we, we, we turn the TV on on Saturdays and we're watching four or five games that have Pahokee players. Miami, Florida, South Florida, Michigan, NC State, West Virginia, and then we're turning on the TV on Sunday and we got three or four or five players playing on Sundays. This wall here is all of our college players. Previous head coaches, including my father and, and, and Coach Leroy Foster, who was here before, put a lot of emphasis on getting kids into college. The whole team, Coach Blade, treat the whole team like, like we his kids. And he always there for you, no matter what. I try to get every single one of my seniors, every single one of my players into school. That's what they hear from, you know, six years old and up, that, that this is a way to get out. Uh, 2009, we had a, a pretty stacked team. We graduated pretty much every starter from that team. Coaches are pulling their hair out, but every decade there's a huge dip that we go through. We gonna have three bad seasons in a row, but this year we plan on getting things back right and going back to the ship. 
Pack fans haven't been coming out. I mean, you know, you put a product on the field that's not winning, you know, in a town and the, and the fans are accustomed to a certain level of ball. It's tough. It's tough out here, you know. They want they want to they want to see Ws. I feel like an underdog because we ain't been to state three years and I think this year right here we can change around. I, I, I can honestly say there are games that I've gone into thinking, well, you know, it's gonna be really hard to win this game. But I think with the players that we have and and what's and the way that they can respond at times that, that we always have a chance to win the game. It's a whole lot different this year. We came from the bottom trying to make our way to the top. Well, I believe the first thing you gotta do is make them believe. And I'd like to think that they believe, but you know, it's, it's tough, it's tough. I don't believe they've turned the corner yet. I, I think that it's gonna take a, a big win that if this, if they can pull it off, if they can believe in themselves that, hey, you know, we are as good as we, as everybody's telling us that we have the potential to be. 